Hi, my name is Prajwal and I'm representing Artemis here. Hey everyone, thanks for being here today. This is only the second time I've ever done this, so bear with me please. Not me, Artemis. Today I'm going to take you through what I experienced with the first boy I ever loved. Not me, Artemis. <laughs> my feelings have been complicated and so have my thoughts. But one word that has always helped me through, through this were words. Complicated words. Like the ones Shakespeare writes. I barely understand what the dude has to say, but I somehow feel the words. So I hope every one of you feels something through this. First poem. Something I like about teenage love stories is always having to do stuff in secret. Although I hate the fact that I can't tell the world, you're already mine. I love the fact that only I know you're mine. I also love the fact that no one will ever know who these poems are about. I would show the world the poems I wrote about you, my love, if our love wasn't bound to secrecy. Would my stupid rhymes wander in your mind? If it was 3 a.m. Or you were missing me, what are we now? A story worth telling? If not, in my mind, I'll write a happier ending. Now comes the we were meant to be or God sent you for me. Then you sadly realize that when someone new enters your life, they are either a lesson or a blessing. So second poem. When you entered my life, I thought God finally gave me a blessing. But I guess I'm still a kid who has to learn a lot of lessons. Love changed me, but only for a day or two. Because I knew your love gave up on me, I gave up on you. I know it's bad the people found out about our secrets. But would it have hurt you to listen to me before they made you believe it? Trust me, I know about karma just as much as you. People will get what they deserve and I hope you'll find out what is true. Then comes actually talking about falling in love. In my mind, we would never work out. But my heart said, I want him now even I don't have him forever. So the third poem, you said you were falling in love again because you were falling in love with me. You said it like no other girl could steal your heart. And like you would never give me peace, I loved every bit of your chaos and loved every second of your silence. I told you 15 things that I love about you. Did you need to hear a hundred more to stay in love? All I could ever tell someone about you was the fact that you were a human. You lived, you breathed, and you loved me. Then I started questioning myself and started thinking about the future. I had a few mental breakdowns and wrote more words. And then a realization hits. So the fourth poem. Comfort and confusion always felt the same to me. I try to fit all my feelings in a poem or three. I wish I had reassurance for the future or something that would motivate me to get there sooner. Be patient. Patience is a virtue. There are better things waiting for you. When will the waiting end? What if I sit around wasting my time? Life is a paradox that I can't seem to comprehend. There is nothing I can ever call mine. I hope you enjoyed the words. That is Artemis.